multiply. How many really need God to do something in their life? Amen. If we don't put that in, I make a deposit, as they say, in the bank account, we wouldn't be able to make a withdrawal. So in other words, when praises go up, blessings come down. Hallelujah. We want God to move and shift our lives. Glory to God. We want to set the atmosphere for God to inhabit the glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I told Brother Rogers to play this song because it was just came up in my spirit. And as soon as he started playing, my spirit just got lifted up. That's when you know you're in tune with God. Sister Toya, things are going to be better.
from my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our God, our Redeemer, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, lean up and hug someone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has brought us through another year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'm not going to wait to 2019 coming. Hallelujah. I'm going to go in the right way. I'm going to go in the church. Give it God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can I get a witness in the house? Anybody know that God been good to you? You ought to tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't want nobody to do sorry for me. Hallelujah. God has been good to me. God has been good to me. God continues.
amen, and try to put our own, to our own strength, which causes us, get this, to become really weak. Can I have somebody in the house? God will take the foolish thing to confound the wise. Glory to God. God will take the weak things, get this to make the, those things that, that, that are weak, he can make them strong. Glory to God. He does things that we don't even understand. Glory to God. But God wants us to trust him. Can I get a witness in the house? How many know that God brought you through this and he'll bring you through that? Hallelujah. He's faithful. God never changes. The name of God never changes. And I don't understand how people can come to church and they remain the same. same but get this. But they, 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 they don't want to change and come into the, the, the true presence of knowing who God really is. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's a loving father. Hallelujah. And I just don't want to call him when I need him. I want to put in his presence. Get this where I got everything that I need because he is everything that I need and more. Glory to God. Go ahead, man he called them all by name. He, he called them all by name. Tell your neighbor, God is calling you. God has a purpose for everyone. Get this. Don't get so caught up in trying to tell other people what they need to be doing when you ain't doing nothing yourself. Can I help somebody in the house? God wants us to come into the knowledge of the purpose that he has created us for. Hallelujah. Too long we've been in church, glory to God, looking for someone else to do something that God has called us to do. Out, coach. Whatever you got to say, come on. The neighbor said, neighbor, he's talking to me right there because there's other people I see in church getting up doing things that I'm supposed to be doing. Go ahead. By the greatness of his might. By the greatness of his might. Go ahead. For he is strong. For he's strong. Take the name of God. Ain't weak. Even when God allows something to happen in your life, tell your neighbor, if you just trust him for it, it's going to work too. For your good in the end. Yes. Go ahead. Not one pillar. Come on, not, not one. Tell your neighbor, you ain't gonna fail. When you put your hands in the hands of the man that steals the water, can I help somebody? God, we don't make a way out of no way. And God has already known, He knows what He has put in you. Come on here. There's no failure in God. So tell your neighbor, there's no failure in you. The reason why we fail is because we're trying to do it ourselves and we're doing it without God. Go ahead. What thou, oh, what thou sayest, what sayest thou, O oh Jacob, and speakest, O oh Israel, my way is hid from thee. God can't see me. That's what people think. God don't see me. God knows everything. <laughs> Even before you think your thought, God already knows what you're going to think. David said, God, thou knowest my thoughts afar before I even think if you know what I'm going to think. Come on. And that's why God wants you to trust him. Allow him to lead you. Can I help somebody in the house? Go ahead, man of God. My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Here, we thinking that God is allowing us to slip by, and to get by, we're doing foolishness, but tell your neighbor, pay, they gonna come. Judgment, they gonna come. God is a merciful God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, it's because of God's mercy that we are not consumed. Can I get a witness? Anybody ever done foolish stuff and done crazy stuff? God that told you not to do it, and then you find yourself in a rut and a rock in a hard place where you know you couldn't get yourself out, and you have to reach up and say, Father, I stretch my hand to thee, no other help. I know if thou would draw thyself for me, where the shall I go? You find yourself calling on him, and he reached way down below down to pick you up. What a mighty God we serve. Go ahead, man of God. Has thou not known? Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? Don't, haven't you heard? That the everlasting God. That the everlasting God. Notice it said thee. Means there's a particular person, a particular God that he's talking about. He's not talking about a lowercase g. He's talking about the great capital G-O-D God. The almighty God has everything in the palm of his hand. And don't you understand that you can make plans, but it's God that orders your steps. Go ahead. The Lord. The creator of the ends of the earth. Come on. Faint it not. God, God, don't faint. God no, he doesn't faint and doubt. God don't get tired. Come on here. Go ahead, man of God. There is no searching of his understanding. There is no searching of his understanding. You can't figure God out. Amen. Come on here. God is too wise. Even God takes a foolish thing to confound the wise. He would do stuff that don't make no sense. Come on here and get glory out of it. Go ahead. He give it power to the faint. He give it power to those that faint. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I've been faint. And I need 
God to renew my strength. Anybody need God to renew your strength? Anybody been getting tired and getting tired of dealing with this and tired of dealing? I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, go ahead, preacher. And to him that have no might, he increases strength. In the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men and women shall faint and be weary. We see it happening all the time. Get this. We see more suicides among our young people today. Go ahead. And the young men shall utterly fall. Come on. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. But they tell you, never, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. That's what that, that word is for me. But they that wait of anybody waiting on Jesus. Anybody waiting on the Lord. We come to church, but we want God to wait on us, but we ain't waiting on Him. Go ahead. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They gonna mount up, take care of God is gonna elevate you. He's gonna you gonna take off. Yes. Go ahead. They shall run. They sh uh, those get this that been so tired, get this of walking. God is gonna give you strength to run now. Go ahead. And not be weary. Not be tired. Go ahead. They shall walk. Come on. And not faint. And not faint. That's it. From these few verses of scripture, I want to take the text or the thought. I'm tired. I'm tired. Listen to neighbors and neighbor, I'm tired. I'm tired. We all from time to time grow weary and exhausted from performing some tasks that requires our strength, our effort, and our labor. Whether you're sitting at a desk performing a job or you're on the assembly line or glory to God, you're battling something in your body or you experience an emotional roller coaster because of a relationship, you go through tiredness because it drains you when you put out your strength. That's right, that's right. Gotta have somebody in the house. Anybody tired in the house? Come on. Tiredness comes when you are exhausting your strength but not it's not being renewed. And there are several types of tiredness that I want to talk about. Glory to God. But one particular, I want to talk about there are several kinds. You got a physical tiredness. You got a, a spiritual tiredness. You got emotional tiredness. And you got mental tiredness. And all of us have to deal with all of these at some point in time. Glory to God. But there's one particular that really connects with all of them called spiritual tiredness. What are you talking about? I'm tired. I am tired, but I'm not tired like you think I am. I'm tired of the devil messing with my stuff. I'm tired of the devil messing with my family. I'm tired of the devil messing with God's people. I'm tired of the devil calling us out of our name and we're selling for what the enemy put before us. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, until you get tired of it, you ain't going to do nothing about it. Uh, there's a lot of people that say, I'm sick and tired of this, but you ain't doing nothing about it. Until you really get tired of doing this when you're facing it. Uh, I tell you, if it's a change, ain't gonna come in nobody until they first come to you. God wants to bring about a change in you. You want God to change somebody else, but God said, I want to change you first. But sometimes, get this, your way of seeing things ain't good. Can I help somebody? Uh, anybody have a time to come every time you come around people, they always negative. They always want to put you down. Can I, can I get, be real with something? Sometimes you want to go, as they say on Cheers, you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they always glad that you can. Can I have somebody in the house? You get tired every time that they call you, giving this sad story in this be on my pity party. And you say, good God Almighty, when will they get, 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 get a mind change to say, I'm tired of living like this and tired of dealing with this. Because so many times people want to be real good in their nest. Can I have somebody in the house? Your neighbor said, neighbor, today is not the day to fool with me. I'm tired of dealing with foolishness. Anybody tired of dealing with foolishness? Anybody tired? Come on here. The devil messing with your mind and your finances. The devil messing with your body. Come on here. Waking up this morning, you feeling good, but when you go home, you in pain. The devil is a liar. Your neighbor said, neighbor, you gotta get tired. When you tell the devil enough is enough. And you get up, come on here. In the spirit of Almighty God, and you go into the enemy's camp and you take back what the devil done stole from you. You got a lot of people get this trying to ask the devil to leave. The devil ain't gonna leave because. 
because you have sinner. You got to command that devil to go. I'm tired, I'm tired of crying over this and crying over that. I'm tired of people feeling sorry for me. I can come on here and I can encourage myself. Because get this, when you come to church, the devil knows what you're coming after. But the devil always some kind of way to try to do a monkey wrench in your way to try to get you to trip up. Uh, somebody said this and then you missed the whole point of the message. But look at your neighbor around you said, neighbor, excuse me today if I don't speak to you. I'm not here to go over to God. To make free, I'm here to hear your word. Hallelujah. I'm here to get a message. Hallelujah. That will bring forth deliverance in my house. Because there's some stuff in my house I gotta get out. I'm tired of the devil messing up my home. I'm tired of the devil messing up my family. I'm tired of the devil trying to be crazy. I'm tired of being on this emotional roller coaster. Here today, out tomorrow. Up today, down tomorrow. That devil is a liar. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, who you gonna get tired? And you will rise up in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Let the devil know you are all in your feet. Holding change, but don't want to do nothing for him. Trying to make a withdrawal, but you ain't putting that in. Yes. Uh, you upset. Jesus. Because get this. When folk get tired of your foolishness. Think that they done you wrong. The last thing we want to do is look at ourselves. We want to blame everybody for the way we feel. That's right. Can I help somebody in the house? I have to take responsibility for my own actions. <clears throat> Hallelujah. You know when when a person get this, you can tell when a person get tired, get this, they get on edge. Real easy. You can do one thing and say one thing and they go left. And you say that. What did I do? Where did that come from? It's because get this, they may be tired mentally, emotionally, come out here, not spiritually, come over here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, this morning I was dressed. I'm in a restroom, brushing my teeth. My wife called me out of the restroom. Get this. And the mouthwash, the top one on it tight. And I was reaching, putting one thing up, and it fell, and it knocked everything over in the mouth while I splashed on my clothes. So I hear him say, Ugh! But <laughs> yeah. well, get this. But that's what God said. When people call you, and you're not expecting them to call you, we get frustrated. Come on, guys. Come on. We get antsy. We get mad. Get this. We say God use me, but how can God use you if nobody requires your service? Oh, yeah. somebody in the house. Come on, come on. I'm using me as an example today. Yeah. And then the miss, get this. I was always up frying breakfast, cooking breakfast for my wife and the girls. <clears throat> so it delayed me. Because now I'm having to change clothes. Y'all hear me? Because I had plans. Y'all, y'all, I'm using this guy. <laughs> to get me to church on time and early. Get this. But now, it seemed like I was being set back. Right, come on. Oh, oh, seemed like I was being delayed. Oh, Everybody hear me. Seemed like I wasn't going to be on time. And my wife said, why don't you just put on that shirt and this and that. And I said, oh. I said, Lord, help me today. So I got the shirt and everything and ironed it and just put my clothes on. Went in the kitchen. Get this. Finished cooking breakfast, and I got to church at 8 o'clock. Amen. Amen. Didn't get here like around 7.30 like I normally do, but at least I made it. Oh, yeah. you said, preacher, listen, you upset because things are not going like you planned because God wants to use somebody to get, this, to get you to check yourself and to check your spirit, glory to God, to make sure that your spirit is right. Can I help somebody? But hear me.
come to church, don't speak to nobody, they leave. Some sort of, I know. Get this. You ain't hurting the people, you're hurting yourself. Oh, Everyone hear me? Family fight. Yes. Can I hear somebody? Amen. But you better not fight family. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on here. I can talk about my brother, I can talk about my sister, but don't mess with them. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? When you mess with one of them, you mess with me. And hear me? If one of us was to get in the fight and the other one stood by and watched and didn't help, we all got a whoop. That's right. So hear me? When God sees that one of your brothers or sisters is going through and you're not doing anything but standing by. And watching instead of getting on your knees praying and encouraging them to stay in there. Come on here. God won't deal with you. I'm tired of seeing people broken. I'm tired of seeing people come through the doors on the way and remain the same. They just come and get this. Hear the word, but no, no application of the word. Yeah. I'm tired of the devil messing with people's minds. And when they come in, they rock. Lord, that don't receive, don't hear nothing. They just come out of religiosity. They come out of religious obligations. No, no desire to change, but they want God to bless them. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna help me in the house today. And then, oh, true. and then when things go down, Lord, why did you allow this to happen? Check your life. Mm-hmm. Check your life. My God. And then. We see sinner man out there getting all this and that. And also we got sinner people in the church too. Can I have somebody? Because we got folk in the church, get this, proclaiming Christianity, but there's no change. There's no hard change. Get this. You can't say you change if you're still doing the same way, same thing. So if you get this, if you are a, a, a vegetarian, why are you at the meat market? <laughs> Everyone hear me? Why would you go into a place where you ain't got no business being? when you are who you're supposed to be. The enemy's looking for an opportunity to take you out. But tell your neighbor, it's only by God's goodness and by God's love and only by God's grace and mercy that the devil didn't take me out. Glory to God. Sister Brenda, this could have had an accident. If it could have been a deer or something, get this, it could have been a, a bigger animal. You don't know what God went through to protect them from something else. Come on here. What if she had went to sleep? Oh, come on here. Somebody could have been driving and went to sleep at the wheel, taking them out by the grace of God. So many Sunday so I can get some overtime. The devil is a liar. 
I said, mandatory job, you got to do that. Hear me. But me just going to a job and saying, I work on Sunday when God has need for me. Come on here. God needs each and every last, even Herman has a responsibility with God. Now hear me. Angel. Everyone here has a responsibility with God. Don't wait till you get old and drive up and say, Lord, I want you to use me. God wants to use you at your prime. Right. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. And what is happening, get this. And, and, and get this. I'm, I'm going to just be real. During this time of year, get this around the holiday season, get this. We're so focused about the presence upon the tree than keeping the presence of God. My God. We're so focused, get this, on material stuff instead of spiritual relationship. We're, we're, so, we're so focused on what can we buy, the greatest gift for our kids to make them happy. Get this, they'll play with it five minutes and forget about it the rest of the whole year. Angel, LOL dog. Get the L -L 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 dog. Get this, five minutes, the head is pulled off, clothes thrown everywhere. And then she got this, that. I want another. No, no, you ain't getting another one. Come on. Why? Because you don't understand the value of what you're acting for. Y'all better help me. And that's one thing about a lot of kids. They don't understand what a parent goes to to make sure that food is on the table, the lights are still on. Make sure they tap gas in the car to make sure they can get from one place to the other. Uh, come on, the other. Come on here. They, want, they just expect everything to poop. Yeah, you're right. Amen. Grateful. But I'm tired of us doing God the way we're doing it. Next year, saints of God. Leadership, <coughs> Wednesday night. I need my leaders here on Wednesday nights. We want to be leadership training. Because I'm afraid that we raise the people in the church, but nobody's really coming, very few coming to who God has called them to be. Because we too busy living at other people, judging them instead of us becoming who God has my called God. us to be. Hear me. This 2019 is going to be the year of provoking. Where I want you to get so close to God that you provoke your neighbor to be better. My God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If, get this. We don't have to worry about raising or offering if everybody would give their tithes and offering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, I got to take care of this and take care of that. But if you don't take care of God, the enemy has access to take you all that. I'm going to tell you this about it. One time I never forget, I didn't pay my tithes and this and that. I'm talking about years ago. And pay my tithes. Because I had, I got to take care of this bill. This bill is important. Get this. Then come to find out, that was taken and much more was required. Why? Because I left my house uncovered. Y'all hear me? And God is after people that's hungry for him. That's desperate. Hear me. What has happened? Our appetite for the things of the world are greater than God. Our appetite for God. We don't have a love for God like we used to. You would come and pray, and things hit this. When people would say stuff to you, you was able to shake it out because you was right. praying, you was talking, like you was talking. Yeah. Now when people do stuff to you, you want to get back, you want to fight. Come on, Pastor. And listen here, let me say this. You can't call yourself a saint when you're doing shady stuff. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got to be people of integrity. That's right. That's right. Come on, I shouldn't go to Mother Bertha and talk about Sister Brenda. That's right. Come on here. Amen. If I come to Mother Bertha, Mother Bertha should say, no, nah, nah, we're going to pray about this. Amen. We're going to take this before the Lord. Because get this, when somebody brings something about somebody to me, we're going to pray about it. I'm going to pray before God. And, and then I'm going to say, why you let it get to me? Well, it got to me because of this and that. It's not really because of what they said. Get this. It's because, well, in a sense, it could be what they said. But get this. You've been expecting it from them. Uh, yes. right. Out of all people. Yes. You wouldn't expect it from them. But get this. The Bible said faithful are the wounds of a friend. That's right. Come on here. The very one you think you gotta have your guard down is one you gotta have your guard up. Uh, get this. I expect it from my enemy. David said, I expect it from my, my enemy. But I come to find it was them that was that sitting at my table. Uh, the yeah. Yeah. Come on here. Come on here. Let me say this. Everybody that, 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 that's hanging with you is not really with you. That's right. Everybody that's in your crowd ain't root for you. Who, 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 who. You got some spies. You got some assassins. Help somebody. Amen. 
just to get you off the track. I'm tired. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you tired? Because if you're not, you're going to keep doing the same thing. Same thing. Why are you crying over the same thing? Because you're not giving it to God. I love him so much, I can't let him go. Listen, I love you enough to let you go. Because get this. Because if God didn't put it together, it can't stay. And you got to understand. When you are chosen by God to be together, you're going to have your share of attacks. Can I help you? In the house. Glory to God. You got people, get this, do stuff to you, and you got to say, Lord, and, and you get this, and let me say this. When somebody, regardless, I said it before, and I'm going to say it again, regardless of whoever it is, when they do something, and you get mad, you get fight mad, you ain't mad at them, you mad at God. That's right. Yes. Because get this, he's the one that allowed that. Man. Why did you allow this in the spirit? You said, why are you allowing this happen to me? God said, because I'm God. Because I'm trying to grow you. Trying to mature you. Get this. Because he sees you greater than you ever can see yourself. And here, you don't have to get up and tell people, I said the word, and this and that. You don't have to do that. You just live. You show it. Uh -huh. Because get this. The more you draw attention to yourself, people saying, All right. Okay, they call they call it to themselves. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus said, I come to do the will of my father. And if you see me, you see him. Right. Because I'm the father of one. Y'all hear me? I can't do nothing. Terrence can't do nothing apart from himself. Except terrible stuff. But when the Spirit of God comes through, that's when healing and deliverance and things take place. But there's a price. <clears throat> Hear me. Let me ask you one more time. Are you tired of being broke? I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about spiritually. Because get this. If somebody done something to you years ago and you still bother you, you still broke. Yes. Now, you, get this. Ready to make amends. Get this. They, they may even be dead and gone. But if you want to make amends, you gotta say, Father, I forgive them. Yes. Now what? Please forgive me. Because yes. you can't be healed. Because the reason why I get this, remember I said earlier about the spiritual tightness? Hear me. If you are spiritually tired, get this. It brings about, it, it affects your emotion, it affects your mental state, yes. it affects your physical state. Yes. Because when, get this, when somebody do something to you that hurts you spiritually, hear me, there's a curse that's been placed on your life. And everybody, let me say this. Truthfully, there's no such thing as cancer. There's not no such thing as cancer. Cancer, why they call it cancer? It's just building from mucus in place and get this, that affects that digestive system and everything. That blocks. That's what it does. Hear me. Glory to God. And the greatest healing that takes place in your life is forgiveness. Anybody want to be you? Anybody want to see this and attack in their body? Forgive. That's where it based from. Whether it's from a father or mother. And it wouldn't have to get this. It's really not what a person has done to you now. It's what has happened to you in the past. Because get this, that reasoning part of you knows how to relate. Okay, when we was a child, when we was done like that, we didn't feel good, so I'm going to back away from that. I'm not going to accept that. And so, anytime something happens, you get this different phase, but it's the same spirit. It reactivates the pain. So here, it's like, by the time you get this, you scab and over, thinking that you heal somebody coming and pull the scab off. So it delays the healing process. But then some folks will well, cut the scab, get this, and throw salt on it. And that's what gets you mad. Get this. Some people are ruthless, some people are heartless. Why? <coughs> they don't care about nobody but themselves. That's right. Come on. Come on. If I got a lot to you, shut and jive you, pray for me. Y'all hear me? I can't be up in the pool bitch shutting and jiving and lying and, 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 and manipulating and, and, and mistreating God's people. Right. Come on here. Because you got something, get this. In the front of the people, they say good things. Go <laughs> behind closed doors, they're a totally different person. Right. 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 Anybody?
everybody tired of going home that way. I came one way, Lord, but I'm tired. I don't want to go back that way. I came hurt, came broken. I don't want to go back broken. I want to be healed. Healing takes place. It is when you forgive. When you let things go. Glory to God. And the hardest thing for us to do is to forgive. <coughs> Why? Look at the word forgive. When you forgive, get this, you give a sacrifice for. Y'all hear me? You give for. You forgive. You give for that person that hurts you. Y'all hear me? Same as Jesus. Jesus didn't come, get this, to, on his own account. He came on our account. Right. Yes. He came to die for us so we could have forgiveness with God. Because he knew that we couldn't pay that debt. Right. God had it so high the angels could even pay it. Right. Only he himself could pay it. Because he knew the value, get this, that he placed on his relationship with you. Make value our relationship with God. Come to church when we want, lay out when we want, do what we want all during the week. We want in 2019 praying, if praying and pressing into the presence. I'm hungry for God. I'm thirsty for God. I'm, I don't have time for foolishness. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hit me of the enemy just wrecking havoc in people's lives. I'm ready for get this for us to really walk in a prophetic and apostolic what God has called us to. I'm ready to forget this. I'm ready to see Brother Keith walking out of that wheelchair. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm ready to see. I'm ready to see. Get this. Those that are incarcerated come out. Yes. Y'all better help me. Yes. If Pratt got Peter out, don't you know Pratt can <laughs> Yeah. Y'all hear me? 
They make more bills because they make more money. Right. And they think that, oh, I can do this now, this and that. Instead of get this, being a steward of what it got. You know what told this text to me? He said, don't get nothing else that you cannot afford. Amen. He said, tell my people, he said, stop getting in debt. Don't get nothing else that you can't pay for. Oh, well, I'm just going to get this on credit. <laughs> <laughs> Save up. Deal with what you got. Amen. Because get this, many times, get this, we get something to make ourselves feel good in the flesh. Because we try to keep up with the Joneses. Uh, try to keep up with the Browns. <laughs> because we want to make ourselves feel good like we have arrived. Because get this, our relationship of success, get this, is based on what we have, not who we have. And that's scary. Use me. Y'all understand? Yes, 
because that's not my weakness. That's my strength, not drinking. That's your, but I can encourage you. And now with smoking, you can encourage me. Y'all hear me? So sometimes God takes crazy stuff to bring you together. To challenge people. So listen, to say, neighbor, whatever you're struggling with may not be my struggle. But from henceforth, let's move up higher. I want you to be better. I want to be better. I want to come on here. I don't want to hang with nobody going into this new year that want to stay with me. Oh, oh, they just like me. Come on here. Let's go throw, throw, roll up a blunt, brother.